Welcome to this video on using tunnels when carrying dangerous goods. My name is Shane Clear of Haskem Training Limited, and in this video, we're going to use a practical example to learn how to figure out if you can use a tunnel when carrying a hazardous load under the ADR regulations. This is Dave. Dave drives for the Haskem Transport Company. Dave arrives at a dangerous goods warehouse, pulls onto the loading bay and gets loaded with hazardous products. But before Dave leaves, Dave knows that he needs to read his transport document. Dave needs to check the tunnel restriction code for the substance that has been loaded. These letters relate to categories of tunnels. CD is the tunnel restriction code. The first letter applies to tanks. The second letter applies to packages. One letter applies depending on your load, whether you're carrying packages or pulling a tanker. Drivers cannot use the tunnel listed in the code as this is where the restriction begins. It is a restriction code. Drivers cannot use restricted tunnels. Drivers can check the category of any tunnel they intend to use at www.unice.org. Dave is wondering if he can use a category C tunnel. It works alphabetically. If the letter given in the code is E, you can use the categories of tunnel that come alphabetically before E, i.e. tunnel categories A, B, C and D can be used as they come alphabetically before E. If D is shown, this means that you can use tunnels of category A, B and C as they come alphabetically before D. If C is shown, this means that you can use tunnels of category A and B. And if B is shown, this means that you can use only tunnels of category A. Another way to do it is letters to the left. Letters to the left of the one given in the code can be used. If E is the letter given, you can use A, B, C and D as they come to the left of E. If D is shown, you can use A, B and C. If C is shown, you can use A and B. And if B is shown, you can use A only. The results are exactly the same. If one letter is provided as the tunnel restriction code, this letter applies to both modes of transport, both packages and tanks. So how do we read a tunnel restriction code? There are five tunnel categories, A, B, C, D and E. Every tunnel is assigned a letter. The restriction code from the transport document earlier was C, D. The first letter applies to tanks, so we will be permitted to use what comes alphabetically before or to the left of C, A and B and forbidden from using C, D and E. The second letter applies to packages, so this is the letter that applies to Dave, and he is permitted to use what comes alphabetically before D or to the left of D, A, B and C. Good news for Dave, he can use a category C tunnel. He is forbidden from using category D and E tunnels. Dave finishes reading all his other documents and gets ready to drive away. He arrives at the Category C tunnel and with the load he currently has on board, he's allowed to drive on through. Later in the week, Dave is pulling a tanker. He has the same substance on board, but this time the first letter applies. So he is permitted to use Category A and B but forbidden from using categories C, D and E. Bad news for Dave, he needs to find an alternative route. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found the video useful. 
If you'd like us to make any other videos, please let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, ask away in the comments or contact me directly at shane at hasgem.ie. Best of luck, drive safe.